Hello everyone, welcome to Oso Otaku Class 1A Rejects Episode 2. We're finally getting into some actual uh, growth and uh, new things happening in My Hero Academia. Joining me this week is Cassidy. Cassidy, how are you? I'm good, Jake. I just watched the episode, so I'm feeling, I'm like super excited. I also got um, this My Hero shirt from Target yesterday. Yes. Yay! Target's Pretty. clutch. I'll, I'll show it mine is. real quick. Mm -hmm. Got my Hello Kitty, mm -hmm. uh, My Hero Academia <laughs> crossover shirt. Yeah, so I'm feeling pretty good. Um, yes. Yeah. How's your day going so far, Jake? It's great. I actually went out and skated for a while today because it's finally not like 30 degree mile per hour winds. So True. I was able yep. to stay on my board. Nice. Yeah, my Very Hello fun. Kitty board. <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. That's awesome. <laughs> you were decked out in Hello Kitty shit today. Oh, I was ready. Everyone's just like, who is this guy? <laughs> Fortunately, I look like I'm 17, so like people don't judge me as hard. Way That's harder. Great. <laughs> they judge me lighter than they should, which I appreciate. Mm. Well, who cares anyway, right? Exactly. 100%. <laughs> I mean, that's the kind of skin you have to have when you're a weeb. Oh, yeah. uh, I guess I should clarify. I, you introduced yourself and said my name. I'm Jake. Thanks for mm. watching, everyone. Um, yes. This is our weekly podcast where we talk about the most recent episode of My Hero Academia. Today, we're going to be talking about episode two of season five. Do you remember what the name of this one is? It's called Vestiges. Yes. Which is a very interesting word. I, I remember there's a an episode of Attack on Titan, I think that's called Vestiges, and I remember looking it up because I was like, I don't even know technically what the definition of the word vestiges is, and it's a really cool word. Of course. I don't know. So quality <laughs> that's translate. my fun fact for today. <laughs> that's a quality translation right there. Like They made a good call <laughs> naming the English episode that, and I'm sure that it translates mm -hmm. to something very similar in Japan. Yeah, it, uh, it makes a lot of sense for this episode, too initial thoughts on this what'd you think it was a lot of information like i remember um the, it was the teaser for season five at the end of season four is kind of what happened in this episode with deku's dream so i uh once i recognized that i was like oh this is like super important and they really kind of went into the backstory of all for one like a lot more than i thought they would in this episode so that was super cool. We're like getting into a good bit of lore. So I'm super excited to see what's going to happen with that. My favorite thing that they talked about with that specifically is they were calling it metas. I thought that mm -hmm. was interesting before they... I know. I was like, that's so interesting. They've never used that word before. Right. And it makes sense. It's like, oh, you're using your meta power for blank. I'm like, oh, so this is what they used to call quirks. Right, right. And so I was also thinking like... So they changed the terminology, obviously. And all for ones, like, I mean, they have generations. So I wonder how long ago this actually was, like, these people lived. Right. Like, and that was one of the big things I was thinking about was, like, okay, obviously all for one at some point got a power that would make him age less, maybe, or mm -hmm. maybe ageless. Right. But holy shit, just not I recognizing know. two of the people, like... Uh, Midoriya not knowing who two of the character, two of the people were, just like the figures, the also how yeah. they animated that, so good, so cool. Yeah, that yeah, whole dream even, sequence. Yeah, like they all have their own like different colors, and he couldn't tell who two of those people were. Yeah, I love how you can't see their eyes. Um, yes. Also, one and his brother. Ugh, I, there's just so much to learn still. And. Uh, going and doing a hunger, hunger strike I thought was really interesting. He, him keeping him imprisoned. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, right. this is an interesting of course. choice. Of course. I know. I was like, <laughs> there's that, that part where he's like, come on, brother. I'm doing good things for people. See, this guy doesn't want crazy teeth, and this guy does. So I'm going to switch it. I'm like the hero. And I'm like, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. And then he's that's like, how you're just, these people think of themselves. <laughs> you're just doing this to make people more like to get more allies on your side. Mm. It's like, I mean, he's right. He's right. Definitely right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's just, 
Yeah, it's crazy to think that this is the same guy that they fought in the last season. Yes. It's the same guy, but um, One for All has been going down through, like, Deku's the ninth one. So. Ninth one. I know. Uh, there's... There's a lot of stuff happening. <laughs> yeah, that that I I'm hoping they go more and more into like the history of both of those of one for all and all for one. Oh, I'm yeah. assuming they have that's to. what. We're, oh my gosh, we're gonna get a lot of that this season. Really looking forward to that. Um, mm. The man Deku waking up with his arm all like ready was really mm-hmm. fascinating. At, I know, and he he's only reached. He goes 100%, right, to him, which is only 20% of the power. And I think mm-hmm. that's really interesting. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the part of the um, the teaser from the end of season four that I remember. Like, his uh, his window breaking. <laughs> like, yep. what? Right. It's just, he's just asleep, and then all of a sudden he gets this, like, surge of power from this dream. It's like, clearly it's not just a dream. It's... Like, he was, like, there with them. They he were talking to him. I thought it was crazy. He was training all day and then just mm-hmm. passed out. And that's what, yeah. like, I think that's what really got it going was he was that's, still. Yeah, that's what came from. Mm-hmm. Channeling everything. Boy. Yeah. He what? fell asleep without bathing. Ew. Yeah, gross. I, I, I watched that, like, right when I woke up before I, <laughs> like, showered or anything. I'm like, <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Roll out of bed, disgusting. Oh man, this Deku guy, so gross. <laughs> I mean, it was training all day. It is kind of gross. <laughs> also, can we uh Should we talk about um, Endeavor next? His okay a- Endeavor. attempt, quote quote in quotes attempt to right the wrong again. It, I have mixed feelings for Endeavor. Yelp. I just this episode had so much like the beginning with the Hawks uh, talking with Dobby I was I was confused and then I was like not confused it all made it all made sense he's like undercover and whatnot but it was just a lot of information like so much (laughs) so much I guess in the back of my mind I kind of already knew a little bit of it so I was hoping that's why I wasn't like totally lost but um yeah, Endeavor's whole, like him coming home, and they're all, they're all there. Yelp. Of course, Todoroki's eating his soba. Oh, dude, Todoroki's <laughs> comment favorite. about his ugly scar, fucking dude, killed me. Dude, and then me. they, and then they, yes. Do a close up of his face. <laughs> like, ah. and they're just like, oh, <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> like, uh, oh my yeah. god. Also, the mention of the eldest brother. Mm, Toya, I think. <sighs> yes, that's mm, what I have. What mm. What happened to Toya? What's going on? Are we going to get more I of this? I don't know. I mean, there are some theories out there. I may or may not want to disclose, but... Uh, Dude, w- tell, tell us the theories. Let's go for it. This isn't a spoiler, Toya? anyone. This is just theories. Toya equals Dobby, question mark? I mean, he has a fire quirk. Mm-hmm. He's very powerful. He obviously was it would make sense if he turned evil because he was neglected by his his father because he wasn't the perfect kid that shoto is yep um i mean he called him by his full name when they had their encounter after the nomu thing he called him todoroki ng so he obviously knows this man uh i don't know just a lot of things point to point to that being a possibility i don't know oh, man. and if we get if we get a showdown between him and shoto like you dude imagine? dude <laughs> and that's the thing is like obviously the whole <sighs> thing endeavor wanted was the hat was exactly what he is is half ice half fire so right if um realistically everyone else is beat his the, ass <laughs> yeah exactly if everyone else is one or the other and he's like upset about it and then right oh man this could be yeah. re- really big so do we know we don't know his other siblings no like they're just probably kind of basic yeah presumably like maybe weaker ice or i just assume his older brother is ice and his sister may not even they might not even have quirks which would be really interesting that would be yeah 
I feel whew, that would be terrible. I feel like yeah. for them to be. Uh, but yeah, it, I, I think it's funny because his older sister's name has the word winter in it, and his older brother's name has the word summer in it. Mm-hmm. So I feel like they would have something to do with that as their quirks if they have any. But right, and that's I the thing. thought that was interesting. I thought it was one thing I that really caught my attention was the fact that his sister and his mom have forgiven Endeavor. And it's like the mom forgiving. Is I know that's crazy. Absolutely insane. I mean, yeah, I can kind of get it for her own peace of mind. She might, you know, like have to do that to be able to, to keep living because mm-hmm. like she was in that place all by herself for so long. She had a ton of time to think about it, and I'm sure at some point she was just like, well, I think I just need to be done with this to, like, move on with my life. She seems like a very, like, nice, happy, forgiving person, so I don't know. Hearing, I don't uh, know. Hearing the older brother talk about the his mom screaming and Shoto crying was just like, that gave me so many goosebumps. I'm like, oh, boy. I know. Ooh. He didn't, like, it's just that second hand. You know it's happening. There's nothing you can do. Right, because you're also a kid. Like, there's nothing yep. you can do. And your dad is literally the number two hero. He's fucking huge. <laughs> like, even now, he towers over them, and they're fully grown. Still, like, yeah. Yeah, he's giant. I, I do gotta... have to say, yeah, Endeavor Scar, though, is pretty fucking sick. It looks so good. <laughs> it's I'm, so cool. <laughs> I'm so happy with how it looks with, like, oh, man. I was optimistic based on, like, the manga, but, mm-hmm. oh, man. It looks so good. <laughs> yeah. We love a good giant scar on the face. <laughs> Facts. Anime boys with giant scars. A plus. Oh my gosh. But seriously, like, it looks so good. It is. I love that it's the same color as the burn scar that mm-hmm. Shoto has. Like, oh my gosh. It's very yeah. good. It is. I'm, I'm pulling up uh, Endeavor's fandom page, right? I just want to see if they. <laughs> oh, they have not updated the picture. On oh, the no. gallery, it's still the manga <clears throat> version, which is fine. Mm. Uh, something. Come on, it's been like twelve hours since this <sighs> episode came out. Exactly, that's my thing. Something that we didn't go over last week with uh, our characters is this page mm-hmm. actually has stats, which is really interesting. Oh, epic! Yeah. Um, but we talked about Endeavor's little attempt. Also, not attempt because he totally understands that they might not forgive him and be interested in having a relationship. He's just going to keep being there, which I think is the best thing mm-hmm. he can do right now because, right. yeah, this is uh, not good. He's nope. Not a good spot to be. <laughs> no, yeah, he's he's got a lot of things to work on right now. <laughs> oh, my gosh, yeah, especially, like, uh, man, they. I thought it was interesting that uh, getting into the Hawk and Dobby situation – Mm-hmm. that Hawk was supposed to bring, like, a powerful hero to fight the Nomu. Like, the, the whole mm-hmm. Nomu, Nomu fight was planned. It was terrifying. Right. But then yeah. he brought the number one hero who could barely beat the Nomu. Literally. Yeah, not... Mm, yeah, not not good. <laughs> it was terrifying. And then there's, there's merch of that guy now who, like, loves Endeavor. Oh my god, yeah, that was amazing. I want one. I want a mug. I want that mug. (laughs) I want a shirt that says yelling kid or whatever they called him. I already forget what they called him, but that was great. (laughs) Yeah, that was, I think that was really fun. Really good take on the whole thing. Look boy. The nickname Look boy. Gosh. Imagine that being what you're known for. Look. That's awesome. (laughs) But I love his uh, little hairstyle too. Oh, it's great! It's so great! It's very um. What's that anime you just finished? Um, Jujutsu Kaisen. Jujutsu he Kaisen. Looks, it's same. He color. looks like the main the main character from that show. Hundred percent. That's the first thing I thought because I mean I watched it last season, right? But and saw that kid. But watching mm-hmm. it this time, I was like, oh shit! Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he looks very similar. It's fantastic. <laughs> the hair and the like scarf thing. Exactly. Oh man, I I appreciate the cat in uh, this episode too. I'd like to acknowledge that uh, mm-hmm. as far as <laughs> visiting the household, the very very angry cat. I know. I like how Aizawa was just sitting outside, just chilling their house, just waiting. You know, 
waiting while he has dinner with his family. <laughs> I, it's so nice that they're able to do that because, yeah, living on campus and everything, it all makes sense, but it's nice to have a little bit of normalcy here and there. Right. I mean, uh, yeah, he's got some things to figure out with his family, so it makes sense that he's kind of allowed to go home. <laughs> so much, so much to work on. Hopefully we oh, get yeah. a lot more this season because, I mean, we deserve it. He deserves mm -hmm. it. True. But uh, do you want to get into our character of the week? Also kind of talk about Hawk because they kind of go hand in hand this week. They really do. Yeah. So, so Hawks. Go Hawks. Go Hawks. <laughs> you heard it here. So cool. First of all, when they introduced him, I was super into him already. Mm -hmm. um, such a cool quirk. So, such an, of course, like ridiculous, very stereotypical anime kind of guy, though. Very, like, yeah. slim, <laughs> slender, big old baggy clothes. Ob like, cool costume, practical, but also completely impractical. Oh, yeah. Yeah, why is he constantly wearing a fur-lined, like, winter coat? <laughs> You're telling me that... Why would that, he need that? that? <laughs> right, that that's more comfortable right now? Like... <laughs> Oh my I do gosh. love thinking about how all of his clothes have to be specially fitted for his wings to have like little cutouts in the back. <laughs> right. They have to go through. <laughs> how does he put his clothes on? I have no idea. Gosh. The the video we saw of him as a kid was really interesting when they showed yeah. he he had saved all those people as just a kid, and it's like that makes sense. Not surprised at all at his like personality now. Like he knows that he's super strong and fast. Mm -hmm. But he's like, he's always had a little bit of this humbleness, like, he can save a whole family, like a whole bus full of people as a child. So like, he knew <laughs> from from a kid that he was like this super strong uh, hero. Like, he just became a hero. Of course, he was going to be a hero. Exactly. So, and yeah. his, his thing, like, obviously, the big part of his quirk is, uh, they call it fierce wings which are his bright feathery wings, but uh, and he has telekinetic control over individual feathers, which is so cool. That's the, the coolest part of his quirk, for sure. Like, it's crazy. A single feather, uh, I have his wiki pulled up right now, a single feather is capable of carrying a medium-sized object such as a rock or a human being. <laughs> a medium-sized object, <laughs> you yeah. know. You know. <laughs> but another thing that's really interesting about him is his... Uh, He's so fast. Mm -hmm. In the uh, in his stats, they have a, uh, an S tier for speed because he is just so incredibly fast. Oh. Thank goodness. Yeah. Well, yeah, not surprised. I mean, he's, yeah, like a bird. <laughs> he can just fly anywhere. Exactly. And he can, uh, his, they mention his sight and hearing when they're talking about having him go undercover. His in this eyes most, and ears. Oh, yeah. I love it. I love that. Of course, I'm like, of course, he's a hawk. Like, yeah, literally. Hawks have, <laughs> hawks have such good hearing and sight. Oh my gosh. And okay, him going undercover and because he doesn't care about where he's ranked, which is another big thing. Like, right. he, so he says, like, obviously he cares. He wants to be the number one hero, but mm -hmm. he's also not like obsessed with it like Endeavor, which makes him right. perfect for this undercover situation. Yeah. Because he can kind of just casually hang out at number two and not even try, like, that hard at all to be, like, a well-liked, um, prolific hero. Like, he's just so good that he doesn't really have to try, like, nearly as hard as Endeavor has been trying for the past however long, he's, however he's, many years. I, I, I would compare him to, like, oh, man, just something, something that's just really cool, you know? <laughs> like that's the thing about Hawks is he's just unapologetically just naturally cool, and he naturally just has that sick ass eyeliner. Oh like, my god, what? so strong! <laughs> Jealous. He's so cool. <laughs> my gosh, uh, but him and Dobby, right? Like him going undercover and Dobby being his go-to guy. Dobby is pretty yeah. high up in the League of Villains, so he yeah. He's, well, I don't know if I'd say, like, number two to he's number. I'd, I'd say he's in top five. Definitely top five. Yeah, he's definitely up there. Because, yeah, you have, like, other people who are going to be higher up instead. Right. But 
They send him mm-hmm. everywhere. He's always Dobby is always anywhere the League of Villains is. Like he's part right. of that group that is sent. Because he got he, um he's yeah pretty, pretty strong fire user. <laughs> Yeah, when he just, like, lit up the place around them, like, when they were going to talk with his fire. Oh, my gosh. That was <laughs> He was just inst- like, oh, you're here. <laughs> like, here's a giant circle of my flames that I can just procure out of nowhere. <laughs> Immediately. Immediately. Yeah. It, oh, that it was looks, pretty sick. It looked so good, too. I love his blue fire. I'm a sucker for any blue fire. Like, I mean, yeah, come on. Quick, Blue fire. quick aside, when I was watching uh, Avatar The Last Airbender and one of the characters had blue fire, I was just like, I like her. She's evil, but her fire's <laughs> blue, so, you know. I mean, cool. Dobby's evil, but I like him because he's got blue fire, too. Come exactly. on. Exactly. They just go hand in hand. How could you not like him at least a little bit? Egg. Like, at least his character design's really cool. You can't deny that. I was just about to say that. I'm like, the character design's undeniably super cool. The but. one thing, I, the one thing I didn't understand though was, he said he was thinking about snatch. I think at one point he was like, "Oh, oh yeah, snatch? snatch." I was thinking about snatch, and it made me crazy. And he like wiped blood out from under his like <sighs> eye stitch thing. Yeah, <laughs> I don't even that know what to call eye it. snitch, eye snitch, eye stitch thing. So strange. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. That was something I was like, hmm. Okay, mm. so Snatch is a sand hero, right? Bodyguard Snatch. for the police force. Yeah. he. So they killed him at the end of... Oh, yeah. Last season, right? Yep, not, yep. He's dead. The end of, but... Yeah, he's definitely dead. Um, but, yeah, he was brought up. And then Dobby, I guess, was thinking about it later. And then he wiped that blood out from under his eye. Like, almost as if he was crying, which... I Would don't, be. I mean, I don't think that's what he was doing, but he was just saying, oh, I'm like going crazy thinking about Snatch now. I was just like, okay. Y'all. Hmm. Interesting. Don't oh, really know what that's about. <laughs> right. Uh, it was really cool. It was a really cool take on, uh, if, if it is tears, that'd be crazy. And like, speaking of crazy, yeah. that's what makes him crazy is the, the fact that he doesn't feel for any buddy anymore. Like right. he, he can, Dobby has gotten to the point of insanity where he just, can kill without reason or anything which makes him a much t- scarier villain yeah definitely yeah we've seen him just kind of kill random people who won't do for his cause like in an instant he really just doesn't care yeah so yeah he's definitely a a strong villain who has no problem just cutting people down <laughs> yeah the fact that hawk went in there with a single blade because like mm-hmm. let's he he had no feathers at that point yeah, no, he was like a little baby chicken. Which it, I'm really interested to see how that's going to be in the future because I imagine we're going to see Hawks a lot this season. Yeah, So the, f- the fact that uh, he, can, he can lose his feathers and they take a while to come back, I think that's yeah. going to be a really big part of some storyline. Definitely. Yeah, because he's usually the one, like, in the skies, like, ready to rescue people with yep. his feathers. So if he doesn't have any, he's literally useless. Like, that is his whole quirk. And that's something that's really fascinating to me about Hawks as a hero himself is the fact that he obviously can hold his own in a fight, but he seems to be more of a support, kind of mm-hmm. like someone who uses water putting out a fu- like, with the water quirk right. putting out fires right. and stuff like that. Yeah, he's kind of more like a rescue. Like he can he can clear debris pretty quickly and catch people from like as they're falling from the sky. Exactly. But then he but also like, then he's yeah. so incredibly strong too. Mhm. <sighs> yeah. I mean, the wings are definitely versatile. We just uh haven't seen them in too much action yet. We just saw them in that last fight. So Mm-hmm. I don't know. Excited to see what else comes of Hawks this season. Yeah, we're going to see a lot of him. Guaranteed, especially with him being undercover and stuff. I don't know oh, yeah. when his next appearance is going to be. I imagine every time League of Villains is involved, we're going to see Hawks at this point. Yeah. Which I'm pretty they, cool with. Yeah, they definitely introduced him as being like the mediator <laughs> between the League of Villains and the heroes. Speaking but. of the heroes, though, we end the yeah. episode. We get the post credits. We get so the, preview the preview for next 
Okay, so... I'm every- so excited for next week's episode already, which is terrible because it's a week away, but I'm so excited. Shout out to Class 1B also getting upgraded costumes. Dude. Okay, <laughs> the mushroom girl. Yes! I have no idea who she oh. is, but she's awesome. She's so great. <laughs> oh my god! She gosh. just gets to be a mushroom the whole time. <laughs> yes. All right, I'm pulling her they- up right now. Don't worry. Yes. Okay, good. And then they end on who, like, let me just watch the ending again. Yeah, pull it up. You know exactly who it is, though. I'm interested. Is he joining Class 1B? Is he joining Class... Class A versus Class B. Oh, my god! What? The special participant is you? (gasps) Dun, dun. (gasps) (laughs) Oh, it's going to be so good. Yes. The costume, yeah, all their costumes are looking so good. I can't, it can't get here soon enough. Deku's asking All Might about one for all. Dude, I mean, <laughs> so good. Yeah, I... A new uh, form of combat training? Dude. Like, okay, so we've great. established that he's moved on to, like, making kicking his thing. And I right. think that that's a really good call because he's mm-hmm. shredded his arms already. Yeah, already, yeah. Like, very clearly. Not good. <laughs> no. All right, I'm pulling up Class 1B. That little mushroom girl is Kanoko Komori. Okay. And she... what? The, what's her quirk? I don't mushroom. think... Mushroom. <laughs> mushroom, it does. Various... Her quirk allows her to spread various types of fungus spores from her body. The spores grow into full-grown mushrooms once they make contact with the solid surface. Mushrooms can grow on various surfaces, including her surroundings, her own body, and even her opponent's body. They only last two to three hours. The spores spread better in a humid environment. Very mushroom. Time. Yeah. I wonder what the... How is that a good... How, how mean, did we'll she get see, into but 1B? Like, <laughs> yeah, how does that... What can you do to, like, defeat right? villains with that quirk? That that being said, we do not know much about 1B. We know a handful of them. Like, yeah, no. we know Shiozaki with her cool-ass vine hair. Yeah. We know Kendo. Kendo. We know that fucking loser Mono, Monoma. <laughs> Fuck that guy. I hate him. Uh, Tetsu Seku, right? Tetsu, 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 Tetsu. The king. Oh, my God. I can't wait for. I, loved, I love him. I him love and, him. Come on. They're Can so good. Him. Oh, that fight was one of my favorites. It was just so dumb. I, I couldn't know. get enough. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Gosh. I'm interested. But they're such bros. It's amazing. Exactly. That's it, though. That's why it's so cool. Is they are bros. Yeah. I'm interested to see if the big three are going to be in this next episode at all. Just like, be, yeah. are they going to be moderators? Are they going to be mm-hmm. just observing? I mean, they got they got to be there in some capacity, right? Uh, exactly. Okay, so I think so. Uh, speculation for the next episode. What do you think is gonna happen with one B versus one A? Like, who's gonna match up against who? Are we gonna have people get into their groups? You know, the usual groups we see, etc. Hmm. I think. Hmm. That's a good question. I mean, they they usually match people up with quirks that are. I don't know. It could it could go either way. Like they can match up, like Kirishima and Tetsu Tetsu, mm-hmm. who basically have the same quirk, and just see like how whatever activity they're going to be doing, like how they can either work together. They're either going to work together or they're going to be like super competitive and try and win for their class of course exactly so I feel like they're gonna butt heads no matter who's going up against each other in whatever group their quirks are probably going to be like helpful to each other mm-hmm. in whatever situation they're going to be in but they're gonna obviously be fighting to win for their class so they're not gonna be super friendly at, at first definitely 100 percent. I, I have a feeling yeah. kamori the mushroom gal is going to go up against Mineta, calling it now. Oh, no. That's exactly what it's going to be. She's going to make mushrooms on every one of his little stupid orbs. True, true. I'm looking at the, uh, when they show the intro to Class 1B um, in the preview, just like all of them standing there. Mm-hmm. Kendo, 
big hand girl, her outfit is so sick. It's so she's, sick. She's got like that little, I don't even know what she would need in that little thing around her leg. <laughs> right. But she looks awesome. Her like little dress thing is so cool. And I also wonder about the pony girl. <laughs> oh my gosh, right? I'm very interested in her actually. I'm excited about the pony girl. The horns. I think she can like shoot those out or something and like regrow them, kind of like hawks and his feathers. Good. That would be <laughs> good. That, I was going to say that'd be dope. All right, everyone who's watching, uh, not listening to the podcast right now, I've pulled up a picture of it's a still of when everyone from class 1A is being or 1B is being shown. Yeah, that little thing on her thigh. I I love her fit. I it Kendo is just Dude, so it's dope. So cool. It's so cute, so practical. Yeah. This is going to be a very interesting episode. I think that it's really interesting how um, we have Shiozaki. Her costume is like almost like a Greek toga, mm -hmm. like ancient Greek toga style. And of course, she's like holding her hands together like, I of don't want to fight. <laughs> of course. <laughs> then there's like that, that turtle guy that's kind of like in the back towards the right. He yes. kind of looks like a ninja turtle with, like, a green mohawk or he, something. I think he's a bug. Hang on. I'll pull oh, he's up his... a bug? Yeah. He looks like he has a beak or something. So, yeah, I don't he, know, man. That we'll is see. Kama Kamakiri. His quirk okay. is razor sharp. Uh, pro produce large blades from any part of his body. Mm, so blades. Like a... Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Like, what's his name from the last? With the blades in his mouth. That was fucked. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was fucked. God, that was, that was terrifying. Fucked. But yeah, he can, uh, those blades are sharp and strong enough to cut through pipes made of steel and iron and durable enough to withstand point blank explosions. Wow. Okay. That's but pretty epic. He, he only has C tier technique and intelligence. So basically yeah. he's strong, but not smart. Kind of dumb. Yeah. All right. Well, he'll learn from this experience. I have high hopes for uh, bug man. What's his <laughs> name? Kamakiri. <laughs> Kamakiri. Yes. Kamakiri. Kama, 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 kama. <laughs> kamakiri. Yeah, I'm excited to see what is going to happen with all of these because we oh, yeah. don't know many of 1B's quirks. Yeah. I have a feeling we kind of, yeah, we just got a little taste of like the Endeavor Dobby Hawks thing. Uh, and it's going to come back a little bit later in the season. But I'm super excited to actually see class 1a in action again and then we get to meet all these new people it's Finally. gonna be so exciting 1a and 1b working together again oh yeah it's gonna be in, er, in working, depth <laughs> working together and kicking the shit out of each other right 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 can't wait to see yeah i mean their costumes are so cool their winter costumes they are freaking sweet like oh so this was something we were ta i was watching it with my roommates and they were like so is this year two yet are they in their second year yet and i was like no i think this is still just like the second semester like the second half of the first year right yeah i'm pretty sure this is just the second half of their first year there yeah in this season five there's just so much going on <laughs> Thank God. so yeah i know so i just wanted to clear that up i knew they weren't in their second year but yeah yeah some time has passed at least because they are in their winter costumes so exactly i have a feeling uh my predictions for team ups and everything as far as class 1a uh of course kaminari karishima and bakugo are gonna team up together the usual dude, i just paused on their little entrance in the preview they look so ah, dude it's so good they look so good he's wearing like a little turtleneck <laughs> i can't wait it's gonna be fantastic yeah. I'm very excited as well for um, what I assume is going to be, uh, honestly, I'm going to say it now, I think Koda and Sato are going to team up and be bigger okay. in this episode, in this arc, because they both of them have so. had very, very little. I know. They're, yeah, kind of towards the bottom of the priority, get them on screen lists. So. Exactly. Them and Shoji yeah. are just, like, kind of there. Dude, Shoji, I think, is so cool. Like, I love Shoji. Oh, my gosh. When... Oh my they gosh. definitely need to show more of him. When he got, like, one of his appendages cut off in the last season, I was terrified. He's like, oh, it'll grow back. And he's like, but I'm bleeding out right now. Like, ah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, lucky that it was uh, an extension of a, an extension so he could grow it back. But, like, if one of those gets cut off, like, it's just cut off. It's done. 
He has more arms than the normal person, though, so I wouldn't feel too bad. Yeah, fortunately, yeah. <laughs> He'd have, like, a little stubby one, you know, but it, it could be Useless. worse. <laughs> yeah, true. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait. This is going to be so exciting. I'm hoping I would love to see a little more into uh, Midoriya's dreams. I'm hoping we get that. I don't think we're going to get it in the next episode, but I think we're going to no. get it in the next, like, four or five. Yeah, hopefully that comes back. Um, well, I know he, he he's supposed to be talking to All Might about that in yeah. the next episode. They previewed that, so. Thank God. That'll be interesting to see what All Might says, because, I mean, he also had uh, One for All, so. Yeah. He probably had a similar sort of, like, dream or whatever you call that. Yeah. It wasn't really a dream. It, it was, was like a like fever a, dream, really. It was like. It was, yeah, it was kind of like when Harry Potter went into the, <laughs> the Tom Riddle's diary yes. and he was in his memory. It was kind of like going into a memory. Exactly. Cause, yeah, because he was communicating with the OG. So it seems like mm-hmm. it's more of a, because it is part of him. So it's like that introspective right. kind of thing. It was like, yeah, the original little brother kind of like pulled Deku into this because he was talking to him. Like, I wanted to show you more, but you're only at 20%, 20%. <laughs> which is insane. Yeah, that's insane. Also, does it not count that Deku used a million percent before? <laughs> that was so <laughs> <He> sick. Used... <laughs> that doesn't like up his like status in the whole like one for all world. <laughs> right? Come on. I feel like that was a lot. It was a lot. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was amazing. I can't wait to see Yeah. If we get that kind of like where do we go from here? Because that was unbelievable. That's like as powerful as we've seen anyone in this show. We have to, yeah, he has to just get to a consistent level of using it, like higher, like significantly higher than 20%. Like, exactly. Deku, come on, come on. I know he's still a first year, but like, and time's kind of running out. <laughs> it's true. And he can only, like, his body can only take so much, right? But still. Yeah. Poor kid. Oh my gosh. Oh well. Rip. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We will see next week, and you can hear it here first after you get done. Thanks for watching, everyone. You can follow me at Jake the Mayor on Twitter, Instagram, Reddit, all of that jazz. You can follow Hogtide Productions. If you're watching this on YouTube, thanks for the watch. Thanks for the follow. Subscribe. If you're watching it, listening to it on a podcast side of sorts, thank you for that. Uh, Cassidy, thank where can you. everyone follow thank you? you? You can follow me at Cassidy Co. I think also on everything. Um, Fish Inc. I think we just hit affiliate on Twitch. Hell so yeah, you did. If you want to follow Fish Inc., <laughs> I also appear on that channel most of the time. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, also on YouTube, Fish Inc. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Thank you for watching, everyone, and we'll see you all next Thank week. You. See you next week.